YouTubers, how are we today? So, Monday morning, I'm in here, bright and early, already been here a couple of hours, um, basically crunching some numbers. So last week on the Professional Brewers Group, I found somebody advertising five 600 litre conical tanks for sale. Now these uh, tanks, single skin, cooling jackets to the cone and to the back with a lid and a two inch RJT outlet at the bottom. Ping, 550 pound each. So I thought to myself, well, if I'm gonna build these tanks then we're kind of looking at 250, 300 quid for the stainless anyway. And then each tank is gonna take me two or three weeks to build, as we know, so Think of the labour saving that would be involved in buying five tanks ready made. You know, it's a lot of time saved. So, I thought we're going to see if we can get these tanks. It's going to cost me £2,750. So, what we've done is we've raided every single bank account. I've raided my personal bank account. So, Stu, so's Gem. We've literally taken the cash from the cash box every penny we can lay our fingers off tried to put bills off until next week phoned people to try and rearrange things to try and get our hands on this cash well this morning i did it me and stuart managed to get this together there's 27.50 in here so we're going to go, so uh, yeah, we're going to cruise across, uh, it's a brewery on the other side of the Pennines, we'll take you with us of course, and we're going to pick up these tanks, but in order to do that uh, in one run, we're going to have to rent a van, my van's not big enough, so we're going to have to go and rent a Luton tomorrow, I've booked one in, it's a Luton with a tailback, hopefully that should uh, be big enough to get us across there, and We'll get the tanks back in here, just in time for the boys on the brew tubers visit, so I'm, uh, I'm sure they'll be keen to have a look at them as well. But yeah, a little bit of uh, squeaky bum time because we've literally dragged every penny out of every corner of every uh, drawer, I've even been down the back of the sofa for this. So a bit nervous, but it is at the same time what I would consider a calculated risk in order to expand our brewing capacity here uh, with the least disruption to production as is. Uh, anyway, that leaves me today and tomorrow morning with time on my hands to do some jobs. So everything's sat in the tanks nicely. The fermenters are bubbling away. Uh, one of them's dropped temperature to 14.8 uh, degrees. So. I imagine that's close to being finished. That's the stout, actually. And uh, the other two, the vacant, are bubbling along nicely. As you can see behind me, areas look 14, 14.8. So he's about finished. A couple of days, and we'll be zipping that out and getting it into tanks. I might even have a little, you know what? We're gonna have a taster, sod it. Give me a second, I'll be back with a glass. Right then, so here we are. The first taste of the old stouty, stouty poo. The brew tube was stout, if you like. 
Oh my gosh, check it. <laughs> it's doing exactly what a stout should do. Would you not agree? Nice tan head. Roasty, chocolatey, coffee like aroma. Really thick head, that is, uh, that's like a cappuccino. Mm. Slightly green, oh, but it's just about finished. Oh. Still nice and thick, I think there's a little bit of body left in that. Maybe got a day or two. Still be ticking away at 14 degrees, but uh, not rapidly. I'll tell you what though. Mm. That's, if I do say so myself, outstanding boys. You're gonna like this. Mm. Oh, yes. Anyway, as I was saying, there are jobs to be done for Monday and Tuesday morning, so I'm going to continue stripping those doors and hopefully we'll get a little bit closer uh, to getting the toilet doors changed downstairs in the brew shed. So I'm going to crack on with that today and uh, with any luck get all of them stripped and maybe even start to get some of the transfers on. If I can get a coat of varnish on them tonight then that means tomorrow morning, fingers crossed it's a big ask, tomorrow morning we can get them hung in the pub before we go and get the looting. So that's what we're going to do. I'm taking this with me. And this. folks I know it's only a short vlog today but you know give me a break it's freaking Monday it's freaking freezing and it's actually eight o'clock it's five past eight so I've got to go home but I've been running up and down stairs like a madman to get this friggin door finished so I've got one 
of the toilet doors finished. It's the gents. It looks awesome. Uh, no varnish or anything on it, just the prints. You might be able to get a peek over my shoulder there. So I'll just unhook the camera. I'll give you a proper look at it. See how many you can recognise. So what do you reckon to her? Uh, what we got? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. About 19 or 20 celebs on there. Um, and I'm going to put some more on but my hands are just too cold at the minute. Maybe just a couple more up here. Maybe one there, a couple down there. There's not much point putting any of this side because this is the hinge side. And there's not much point pushing any there because that's the push plate. Um, we just, we've got room for about six or seven more little ones. On this edge I've got to put little ones, you see. But I think it's a pretty awesome looking door. Anyway, I'm freezing cold. I'm going to wrap up, folks, and we'll see you on tomorrow's vlog where we pick up the van to go to uh, pick up some tanks. Freaking right, as we do. We'll see you then.